Hey guys, Mustang Doctor. We're just putting in a new uh, headlight switch because this one failed. And I just wanted to show you guys how to do this. This uh, 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 kick, uh, kick panel, I guess you could call it, or side panel, um, it's just clipped in. So you just kind of pop it out uh, with a flathead screwdriver. And then you can get in behind this, this switch uh, mechanism. We got a new one because this car, uh, the headlights just kept coming on randomly and would, would drain the battery through a parasitic drain at night and then she wouldn't be able to start the car in the morning. Um, so we just went into uh, the Asbel data and turned that, uh, turned off all the automatic headlights and some uh, a rear um, lift gate assist uh, just so the parasitic drain would go away so she could drive the car until the switch came in. Well the switch is here so I'm just going to show you guys how to take this out. Um, it's actually a really easy job. Uh, this uh, 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 wiring harness just plugs right into the back. If you guys can see that in there, okay, that just clips right out. Um, so we'll pull that out. And this uh, headlight switch in and of itself is just held in by some retaining clips in here. So you can just, re you can release those and then this whole thing pops right out. So just kind of pinch in there and you pull that right out. The next step is taking this whole uh, panel out because there's some bolts we got to get behind there um, But to do that it's the same kind of retaining clips uh, Just right down in there if you guys can see that so that's got to come out And then this kind of this panel will just kind of pop right off. So we're gonna do that So from here you guys can just use uh, these little um, They have little retaining clips I guess you could call it built right in so you just wedge one down pry it out uh, wedge one up pry it out and just so on and so forth on all four corners and then this uh, mechanism just or this switch just slides right out and there you have it it's really just a plug um, in the back and then it goes back in you have it there's the new one there's the old one and uh, what happens is these just had a, actually had a fault uh, I guess you could call it in the uh, logic within the mechanism and it just causes this uh, parasitic drain at times in these cars. So if you have a, a constant battery drain, you don't know where it's coming from, you get a new battery, um, it's likely this issue. This is a really common issue that they had. I'm actually surprised it wasn't a recall. So we're just going to slide that back in. These clips will just go right in and then we're just going to plug it in. We're, we're basically done. Done. Now the, the uh, plugs will go back in. This one's just a retain, uh, retaining plug. This actually goes to, I think fog lights or maybe another accessory. It just kind of sits down in here uh, for the time being because this car doesn't have whatever that accessory was. So it just kind of rides in there and it actually doesn't plug in anything. As you guys can see, it goes nowhere. Then the main harness uh, just goes right in where it, uh, the other one came out. All right, so now we're just reading the car <clears throat> through Asbelt data, and we're going to go on in and turn on the uh, um, uh, daytime running lamps, which is really just what we shut off last time to get rid of that parasitic drain. All right, so we're just gonna turn these uh, daytime running lamps back on. And now we're just gonna write it to the vehicle. So now we got the daytime running when it's back. I'm just going to do a check to make sure everything else works and turn on the beams. Notice that came on. Good to go. All right, guys, and that's it. That's a wrap. It's a fairly easy job. Um, of course, you have to be able to get into the computer and mess with that uh, as built data. Um, disable and re, re enable if you want to drive this car while the issue is occurring. Otherwise, it's just going to keep dying on you from draining the battery. All right, guys, let us know if you have any questions in the comments.